Thank you for stopping. Hello, how are you? Ah, I have been so unnecessarily stressed. You know, we go away on Sunday to see the children and the grandies. And I have been so worried and so obsessed with housework that I've forgotten to relax and enjoy it and just carry on and do it like I normally do. You know, I don't get stressed about housework. Suddenly, because we're going away, I got stressed. How pathetic. It upset my tummy no end. I had sleep this night, not last night, night before. Last night, vicious tummy again. And I do have this problem with my digestive uh, system. So, oh, anyway, my sweet darling did the vacuuming and heavy stuff today and the shutters and yeah. So I've just got out the shower and have a late shower and we're off to see Bill Bailey tonight, uh, which I'm looking forward to, could do with a good laugh. Although well, my husband does give me quite a good laugh. Yeah, so, and then I went makeup shopping the other day for foundation and I walked out with a parcel that I hadn't paid for um, from Estee Lauder. I bought a, the eye cream because I wanted to try the advanced, I, I've tried it in a pot and I wasn't overly impressed and then I tried it again in a smaller pot and I was very impressed. So I went and bought a full pot. I'll do that later on and then a lipstick. They didn't have two shades that I wanted so I'll try and get a shade out of duty free. Um, yeah, so oh, I just kicked, well, at least I didn't kick the bucket, I kicked the toilet. So let's start um, a bit of makeup um, for my darling and for Bill Bailey. I did get to pack my husband's Delcy today, his suitcase. I use cubes. It's it's just more convenient. So. Um, because then shopping can go on the top and I leave such a big space for shopping which I can fold. You know, things like um, linen and things that I like to bring home. Not that I brought linen home for a long time. Um, I'm not going to the, the right country for linen. Yes, I'll have it, but Dubai is very, very expensive. So I try not to buy too much. Um, I always have to buy something. Do you know what I mean? So let's do my little bit of under eye genius around my schnoz as well. Yep. Archology. And let me tell you, long before packing cubes came in, um, I wasn't, I've always been a, um, shall we say, a passionate packer. Probably because I was, you know, in the industry, um, the airline industry, but I also, I've always travelled an awful lot in my life. So I've always been um, space savvy. Um, I mean, I can pack the trunk of a car um, so well that I don't even, I often say to my husband, don't bother, leave it to me, I'll do it. They don't, I don't think my husband has the spatial awareness that I have when it comes to getting something in, you know what I mean? They always know where the hole is, but they don't know where the necessary space is. Exactly. Hmm. So, yeah, packing in cubes. I'm still not sure whether I like packing in cubes that much because I've always been a savvy packer. Um, and cubes, you know, once you put in 10 shirts and three pairs of shorts and a pair of long pants, it's, it's all crushed. And yes, when I hang up stuff with the other side, I will then use my atomizer of, um, I will put in a little bit of fabric softener and hot water and then spray everything, let it hang to decrease. So, you know, um, oh, when I come back, 
stuff won't go necessarily into cubes. The clean stuff will, because I will do laundry there and pack it accordingly. Oh, I know, anal is not the word. Right, I'm not quite ready to open my foundation yet. I did buy this one here, the Tante Idol um, Glowwear. Um, and I did buy a shade up. So, let's put some here. I bought the double two. Come on, out you get. Yes, like. Let's put that there. So, um, the one I bought was a little deeper than this. This is the palest. And I am very fair, especially on my face, because I don't put it in the sun. Um, so I don't particularly want to open it until I've finished. I was very, if, until I finished the sample. And I'm very, um, I was very, very tempted to a look at the Estee Lauder um, tint. It really is gorgeous. The tint from Clarence is beautiful. I can't get the shade. And the shades that I've tried make me look like a Satsuma. Oh, this colour. You know, it confuses me because this colour is... Very good. I just warm it up with um, what's the brown? The bronzer. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, I need to titivate. Go to use my grill on blusher. Adds that little bit of oh, fabulousness. Yeah, it's just a love it, and it's such a beautiful product. I'm going to use one of my favourite blushes and the colour. It's X by um, Urban Decay. I don't know if they still make this colour, but it was the colour that I used absolutely all the time on I think every red carpet event I had in um, Georgia in the States or if I was away and it's it's just it's not a pink it's not a apricot it is mm, you're not seeing it here because of my, obviously, this is not a mirror, this is a phone. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a pink with gold. And yet it's got, I don't know, just love it. And it's Urban Decay X. And I've lost count of how many of these. This is an old tester. But yeah, I've gone through so many of those. Absolutely spot on. You've got it. Beauty Pie Cream Shadow Sticks. This is Brazilian Air. And a fantastic shade. Another goldy brown, if I could call it that. With, I don't know what it is. It's just, it actually, I suppose, looking to my big mirror, it looks a bit torpish. But... Yeah, it's a great colour. Um, Compliments you to eye brown eyes or hazel eyes. Today I've got brown eyes. Yesterday I had hazel eyes. 
Maybe I'll wake up with blue eyes tomorrow. You never know. Anything's possible in this wacky world. Um, I still have so many of these eye crowns or stylos or eyeshadow sticks from Beauty Pie that I don't have any of the new packaging. Which is fine. I can wait. I'm a patient heister. And yeah. You know, they are just so creamy and but once they set, you bug it. You have to then remove it with um, an eye makeup remover or cleanser because they are smudge proof and bulletproof. I like that. A little bit of beige bombshell in the corner. Just two. There we go. Just makes it a little bit. There we go. Much better. Mm, see my oils run out. My lips are feeling nourished. Wonder Gel Lip Liner in Rummy Pink. This will go with most of my colours because I wear a lot of rose browns. And I won't fill in my lip. It is my most favourite mascara in the entire world. And I have used it since it was launched. And I used to use the Lancome uh, Cifil, um, which was the one, its predecessor. And then they brought out this Hypnose. I don't know how long I've used it for, um, but I'm sure it must be close to 30 years, or it's well over 20 years. I have bought it in, I think, virtually every duty free in the, around the globe from South Africa to Frankfurt, Munich, Hamburg, um, gosh, Zurich. I used to literally just buy mascara. Some of the duty frees crew, if you were in uniform, you weren't allowed to buy uh, duty free purchases. So, if we're on holiday, and those duty frees that we were allowed to buy with, we'd chop until we got arms heavy. Yeah, we would. Simple. It was part of the perks, it was part of the job. Oh, I just love this mascara so much. It's creamy, it's bouncy volumizing it's lengthening oh i just love it and that's pretty much my face i just have to put on my lippy and then i've got to obviously dry my hair just now uh and before it dries too much so um, I will put a few stills on and, and put it, add it on here. And from me to you, um, maybe if you're going to see Bill Bailey in Bournemouth tonight, I'll see you there. If you see me, give me a wave. If you don't, I don't know who's going. Anyway, from me to you, thank you for stopping. And um, any comments, please, honest opinions, 
nothing is out of bounds for me other than um, sexting and all that malarkey. Okay, so from me to you, uh, take care, God bless and love you.